Focus Travels. Today I'm going to be doing the latest travel news, 10 exciting worldwide facts, part 6, April 2021. So just before I jump right into it, could you please subscribe to my YouTube channel and it's the red and white subscription button also click the notification bell i upload on both my lifestyle and travel channels at least five times a week so um also click the membership button for extra perks starting from just 99 pence per month uh, for extra perks so uh, let's fire away and according to breakingtravelnews.com, I've got um, 10 amazing facts. Um, so I'm going to start off with Trans Tasman Travel. Bubble opens up for the first time. Um, Trans Tasman Bubble linking Australia and New Zealand. Wow, has officially opened. It, the first flights landed in New Zealand at Zealand earlier this morning. Wow, that's amazing. Number two, a Scottish Passenger Agents Association criticises the latest uh, Nicola Sturgeon comment. Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon yesterday said progress in tackling the contravirus um, in the UK must be put must not be put in jeopardy with two lax position on international travel um so i really hope um again the travel industry uh, can get back up and running as soon as possible worldwide and number three um person appointed chief sustainability officer with a core bureau person will report directly to sebastian bassin chief executive from the country and will become a member of the executive committee she will start in may 2021 so good luck to her and number four iata Partners with Eurofins for COVID-19 testing. Number five, World well, WTTC unveil new accessibility guidelines for global travel. And number six, Ada Cruises unveils new Greek trips um, this summer. So go Ada Cruises. And um, number seven, Gurdia to level Thai Juma Mariah Lucas Tower. So good luck to that a partnership. And um, number eight, Air Bowl Kit slums to a huge loss for 2020. Number nine, on the upside, at Saga sees at booking at services as tra uh, travel prepares for reopening. So good luck to Saga on that one. Last but not least, Kenya Tourism Board takes fresh European representation. And I would like to say I would like to say thank you everybody and I'll see you tomorrow for another travel blog UK so bye for now thank you bye